Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to do a mail time video for you. I've got a bunch of boxes and envelopes to open up. I wanted to add this to the end of the weekly recap video, but I made that one way too long. I answered way too many questions and I just thought, you know what? I don't want a video that's over an hour long. And I've got several boxes and envelopes to open up. So we've just decided to make this its own separate thing. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into these boxes. A couple of which I have opened, you will notice like this one right here. This is the biggest of all the boxes. And this one is from Myrna in Minnesota. And I have to say, I was super excited about this. Look at this angel. I complained several times about how I didn't have an angel that fit the top of our nine foot tree in the great room. And I do kind of a golden white and silver themed tree. And I just couldn't find the right one because I'm very picky about the way they, their faces look. And this one is so pretty. It's just so beautiful. And I think it's gonna fit the nine foot tree so wonderfully. Like I am just so excited about it. So Myrna, thank you so much. I've still been using the little one that Aaron and I got our very first Christmas 13, over 13 years ago. And it totally didn't fit on the tree like you guys saw. So this is going to be perfect. I'm gonna give her her own little tub and she'll go out with the rest of our Christmas decorations and I'll be very excited to get her back out this next year. This one I opened as well because it had Benjamin's name on it. So it said to Laura and Benjamin. This is from Patty in Iowa. A little puppy and a book called Mama, Will You Hold My Hand for Benjamin. Isn't that sweet? And Patty said in her note that it was really cold in Iowa that day, negative 10 degrees, so she decided to make me a wreath. I'm gonna have to fluff it out just a little bit. But look at this. It's a big flower. How fun is that? I'm gonna show you the back. It's nice and tidy all the way around. Thank you so much, Patty. I actually think there's another box from Patty right here. Same last name in Iowa as well. This one came looking like this. So I'm really hoping that everything's okay inside. Sounds like metal, so probably okay. She said, long story on why these are in two packages. <laughs> Enjoy, Patty. Oh, look at how cute. We've got a nice black and white buffalo check metal bucket container, which will look super cute with a house plant in it or flowers or whatever. Awesome. Thanks, Patty. Poor box, seen better days. From Donna in California. Oh, plant seeds of kindness. So it's like a, one of those galvanized chicken water things with succulents planted at the base. And she said, the succulent ornament combined with kindness screamed you. That's so sweet. And then a watering can with flowers that says you're special. These are for our garden themed tree for next Christmas. Thank you, Donna. Oh, real quick before I move on to any more of these things, this is actually something I know about or I knew about, but I received this letter in the mail this week. Um, for those of you who follow me or Erin from The Impatient Gardener, she's another gardener who's got a really great channel and she lives in Wisconsin. Anyway, Wisconsin and Oregon, their football teams played in the Rose Bowl this year. So Erin wanted to bet me on the game. And the bet was whoever lost had to plant something that the winner chose for them. So I won, so I told Erin that she had to plant an Oregon grape, Oregon state flower. Anyway, she emailed me uh, shortly after and said, you know what, you are a sport because I'm not, I'm not a fo football person, I don't really follow it, but I am always up for a good uh, wager like that. She was like, you are such a good sport that I went ahead and for the Rose Bowl, for you participating in it with me, I um, bought you three David Austin roses and I'm having them shipped to you in April. Oh, so much better than an Oregon grape. <laughs> Anyway, I got the way, way better end of that deal. She has three Roll Doll roses coming to me uh, mid-March to end of April, sometime in that time frame, and I'm so excited about that. So thank you, Erin. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with this one. This is from Carmen in Florida. It is a Ray Dunn brand plant lady mug. Isn't that perfect? Uh, Carmen said that she started watching our videos about three and a half years ago. Um, at the time she had a baby and spent a lot of hours at night, up at night feeding her baby, which I totally can write, relate to now, but she watched a lot of our videos at that time and she uh, heard that Ray Dunn was coming out with this plant lady mug, so she searched for it because she thought it'd be perfect. So 
Thank you, Carmen. This one is from Lois in the UK, and it's for Benjamin. And it's a gingerbread man, and it showed up broken in half, but it'll be an easy fix. I think that is the sweetest ornament right there, and it has Benjamin's name on it. And see how it just, like there was a clean cut right in between. Shipping stuff is just hard, but I'll be able to glue that really easily and we'll make sure it goes on the tree this next year. So this card is from Dorothy in Indiana, and she sent over some Easter egg eggplant seeds, as well as some information on it. And she said she just enjoys growing hers in containers so much. Um, and they're just these really neat looking, we'll try to find a picture, put it on the screen. Um, but that excites me because I can add this to my seed starting list um, this spring and I can get these going because I want some unique stuff like this. I think these will be really wonderful to use in flower arrangements. So thank you so much, Dorothy. Ooh, this one's all the way from Ireland. From Cinder's a Sorcha? I hope I'm saying that even close to right. I don't know. It says it's a glass Christmas decoration. It's traveled a great, great distance. Hopefully it's in one piece. Erin and I were in Ireland. We were in Dublin on our eighth wedding anniversary. What a fun memory. Oh, it's in one piece, yay. Look at this. That's really pretty. And I imagine that that picks up light beautifully. Oh, it's a little bird. Thank you. Hopefully this isn't something that we ordered. This is something that we ordered. <laughs> uh, this is from uh, Deborah in North Carolina, who saw me lifting those um, lemon creme brulee ramekins out of the pot with just like a hand towel over my, ha uh, my hand trying to protect it. So she said this is to lift up those ramekins out of the pan. Thank you, that's so thoughtful. I do everything improper, especially in cooking videos. Okay, is this from Deborah as well? Oh, this is from, oh, hello. This is from Robin. Saw you zesting with the spice grater and thought this would work better. Here's <laughs> everybody's looking out for me, I love it. Yeah, I don't have proper kitchen tools. So like I am just the queen of getting by with what I have, um, but I always love to have the proper stuff. Look, I have proper things, I love it. Thank you. Just in case anybody knows, I broke my uh, KitchenAid mixer while making donut dough, so. <laughs> oh, this is from Patty in Iowa too. Patty in Iowa, you went to town. Oh, pull tab to open. Duh. Oh, look at this. It's a tea towel. Gardeners spend all day in their beds. <laughs> and then there's like parsley, Basil, cucumber, onion, bay leaves, gloves. That's super cute. I love it. You know what I like to use these on? I want to see how big this is. I like to use these as um, like tablecloths outside on small bistro tables. I think this is going to be perfect. I'll get a lot of use out of that. Okay, just a few more. Um, I just wanted to give Reed Vaughn and Barner a shout out and just say hi, Reed. I really enjoyed your letter. Um, she is a 12 year old gardener from Rhode Island. Did I already say Rhode Island? Um, anyway, she just told me some of her, what she's doing and some of her projects out in the garden. She said it, I didn't have to read her letter out loud in a video because it's really long. Um, and I enjoyed reading every single word of it. And she included some pictures of herself um, and her brothers and sister, brother and sisters. And then she made the succulent right here. And it's just such a joy to me um, to read about when especially young people are gardening and uh, inspired to garden and excited about plants. So this read made my day. This is from Brad Johnson from Garden Evolution in Ohio. Oh, are these seeds? Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Brad, you have good handwriting, way better than mine. Oh, we might get to see you at the Cleveland show. That's exciting. Okay, so there are seeds for green twister coneflowers, Crocosmia lucifer, yellow datura, Cheyenne spirit coneflower, tropical milkweed, Chinese forget-me-nots, and pink canna. Awesome. Thank you, Brad. Now from Amber in Texas. Oh. Oh my. That's what I'm smelling. It looks that looks like it's some soap. Oh. I don't know about you, but 
receiving loofah, which I'm assuming that maybe she grew herself, is exciting stuff. Let me read this. Oh, there's so many like little presents within the present. I love it. Okay. So there's actually, she said seeds for these things with um, instruction cards. How awesome. So there are seeds for the loofah gourd, which I have on my list to start this year. And then cotton, which I actually have on my list as well. In fact, I think I maybe shared those seed packets, but these are the ones I'll plant. That's awesome. So this soap was made by her niece Paisley and, and Paisley wanted her to send some soap along. Let's take a look in here. This is the cotton right here. So it looks like um, our channel has inspired her to start her own channel called Gardening from Scratch. So I'll definitely have to go check that out. That's awesome. Thank you for all these things. Look how cool that is. We don't see cotton in our area ever. Like this is not something that's grown up here. So it might be super common for some of you, but for us, it's a huge novelty. That's really, really neat. All right, last box is from E. Mick in Texas. Oh, bookmark. Awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, first off, to Laura and family from Elaine and family. Home, welcome. This is the stand that belongs to these, which are laminated leaves from trees. Like this one, she said, look at that. Look how cool that is. What a cool idea. This is from a ginkgo tree in Cincinnati. The uh, two of them are leaves from our crepe myrtle trees. Right here, right? Is that crepe myrtle? Um, let's see. Trees, and it looks like there's, these look like oak leaves right here. So you can swap these out. Whoops. That is such a neat idea, I love that. What a fun way to preserve your garden and then like display it. And you could do seasonal too. Awesome, thank you, Elaine. So that's it, you guys. I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being, probably a pretty short one, um, but we don't normally post on Tuesdays, so it's a, like a little extra bonus. And it, I don't know, it's kind of fun to be able to highlight these things because I so appreciate all the things that you guys send out. And they're all so touching and so personal. Uh, and I get to read some really uh, interesting and touching things um, and I really appreciate it all. So anyway, I hope you guys are all having a really wonderful day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.